Mr. Dubois, I mean, how, how does it feel being the coach of this great team? I mean, it, it, it must be exhilarating to, to see, you know, after this championship win and, and all this heading to the NCAA tournament, you know, how does it just feel coming all together? I've coached for 18 years, and, and this is probably the most exciting and most, uh, I mean, this is the, the most fun I've ever had. Uh, I have nine players on the team. Every single one of them is, is just awesome in every way. They, they work hard. They take care of business. Uh, they study. They get good grades. They're all good people. Um, and, and hard work doesn't always equal great results, but they executed all the time this semester. And, and they were pretty amazing. And what else do you say? It's just a lot of fun. And, you can see all the smiles on all the girls out here, and, and they should be. They should be that happy. Right. And this, this tennis team this, this year, we have actually um, most of them all hailing from Europe, except one who's from Baton Rouge, um, which we'll get to talk to later. Um, you know, where, where are y'all from, I each individual hometown, if, if y'all like to say that? I'm from Germany, and my little city is called Balingen. I'm from Germany as well, and my city is called Tutlingen. Um, I'm from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and my city is uh, called Zenica. I'm from Ukraine, and my city is Nikolaev. Wow, it's definitely a diverse group. I mean, Dr. Webb, how, how does this feel for you? You know, to we have students coming in from all areas. You know, that, that must make you pretty proud. Well, we're very excited about having these young ladies who actually are international students as well as student athletes and just ordinarily fine students. I think about this from a parental perspective. I was telling some of the girls earlier that uh, some of these girls are the only daughter, the only daughters in their families, and. Uh, and at least one young lady who's not here today is the only child in that family. And for their parents to entrust us with their lives and their futures is just really humbling. I'm very, very grateful for that. And, and Mr. Burke, I mean, this, this must be just a great push for athletics, being able to recruit, you know, from all different diverse areas, you know? Well, I think that's been the uh, that's been the legacy of our women's tennis program. We've had young ladies who have come and represented us from all over the world. And, and what really is what's really neat about that is the fact that they may return to to their part of the world, or they may stay here. But but either way, what's really neat is how so many of them continue to stay in touch with our program. I mean, I know these young ladies will tell you that when they played for the regular season championship over at UT Arlington. One of our players who graduated 20 years ago, and she's in our Hall of Fame, Shane Fitzwilliam Duke, who's from South Africa but living in Boca Raton, Florida. Her husband surprised her and bought her a, a ticket to go from Boca Raton to the Metroplex. When I emailed her and told her that they were playing for that regular season championship, that's how much wow. the program and the school still means to her. And I know that Dr. Webb would say mm -hmm. that's the kind of pride that we like to have. We want each of our alumni to have that much pride in their alma mater. And I know these young ladies will always feel the same way. I think, as, as Catherine said, it will always be something special. I totally agree. And speaking of the, the alma mater here, um, you know, what, what are y'all studying? What, what's y'all majors? My major is Hospitality Management and Tourism, and I'm a Spanish minor, and I have a concentration in Hospitality Services. Wow. <laughs> my major is Business Administration, and my minor is Computer Information Systems. I am a pre-medical major. My major is Health and Human Performance. And, and what do y'all plan on doing with y'all majors later, <coughs> later in life? I want to become a tennis coach. <laughs> I would like to go to medical school and um, become a medical doctor one day. I would like to become a successful businesswoman and um, get a master's degree soon. And I would like to work in a hotel wherever somebody wants to take me. <laughs> 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 well, um, Mr. Dubois, you know, there's, this whole season has just been amazing. You know, this is their 20th consecutive victory, correct? You know, how, 
there, there has to been so much preparation going on. You know, how, how does one prepare for this great season that you had? Well, they just work hard all the time, and, and it is an amazing thing because sooner or later you see that the bubble has to break. I mean, it, it's a lot of pressure to keep winning and keep winning and keep winning, and then you think, well, sooner or later this is going to end. But when you have nine girls and then six of them are always out there playing, and, and if there's an injury, you move in another player or two, we always found at least four players on a given day who, who just played well enough to win, and, uh, and it's not always the same four players. It was always a mixture of the nine girls out there who did the job on a given day, and um, team unity is, is certainly uh, underrated. I, I think from all the teams we saw this year, by far, these ladies were the most unified group of uh, individuals we had out there. They just supported each other all the time and just uh, they have great chemistry on and off the court. And you heard it here. You heard from four of the tennis players. And when we come back, we'll hear from uh, three more or two more, actually, along with our guests here. Um, so stay here and we'll be right back with where great things happen. And I'm your host, Van Erickson.